Bom, segundo treino do dia, TDD na manopla. Hoje o Melvin participando do treino. É um cara que faz parte do Fight Team. Ainda luta amador, mas logo, logo tá aí já se profissionalizando. Um cara dedicado, um cara que tem uma, uma história de vida e superação, assim como eu também tive. Todo mundo sabe, né? Problema com álcool. E o Mel vem aí também. É... Na verdade, vem não. Venceu né? essa batalha e tá aí todos os dias nos treinos, se dedicando aí a cada dia. É... Para vocês que vão ver esse, esse vídeo. É, vamos ver é, a superação né, desse cara Tenho certeza que vai motivar cada um de vocês aí Que passa por esse problema ou conhece alguém com esse problema é, Envie esse vídeo é, para todas essas pessoas que você ama Tá bom? E você tem certeza que vai fazer uma grande mudança na vida dessas pessoas So, uh, you know, this October will be three years of knowing Alex. When I first met him three years ago in October, um, I was doing my first ever sparring here at the Share MMA. I was probably, I was a month in to training. So I started with the level one Hawaiian Kempo here at Glover Teixeira's gym. Uh, I moved up to level two, so I got to do sparring. And uh, I remember like doing the sparring and Alex was here before sparring started. He was, he was still in glory. And uh, he was showing everyone his belts. He was a two division champion in glory at the time. I didn't know anything about kickboxing, MMA. I, know, um, I had just uh, gotten out of playing college soccer because COVID had canceled our season. So I was just doing a free trial class here and I moved up, started doing the sparring. And uh, you know, uh, he watched me do that sparring that night and I got obliterated by two of the amateurs on the, on the fight team. And uh, then afterwards, everyone was taking a picture with him. So, you know, I went up to him and was like, hey man, you know, do you mind if I take a picture with you? I took a picture with him. And I remember like, uh, you know, looking up all, like who is Alex Pereira, you know, finding out he had the same exact birthday as me, July 7th. Um, and then that he also, you know, got into MMA to, you know, help with, uh, with alcoholism and, you know, moving away from that life, which was like so, uh, that was a surreal moment to like find out that story about him because I also, um, you know, transitioned into MMA as a way to combat alcoholism. I was about a year into you know, my sobriety. Uh, you know, this August will be five years of sobriety. 
and uh, it's just wild, you know, kind of give me chills to see how, you know, this guy has the same birthday as me, uh, you know, he also started MMA at the same age, you know, 22, and, uh, you know, now he's uh, at the time a two-division boy uh, world champion and I was just like whoa you know he had what uh, he had 70k followers on Instagram at that time and I was just like this dude is just like like whoa you know like I could really do this I remember having that that mindset you know and I got to train alongside him four months later when I got invited to the fight team and uh, my level just continued to progress to the point that I got to you know become one of his sparring partners and you know I watched him transition from from glory to the UFC and, uh, and I got to watch how he responded to everyone talking about you know this guy doesn't know how to grapple um, he's gonna get mauled in the UFC he's not gonna make it and then you see uh, you know you see him get through the UFC you see him uh, beat these guys every single fight that he went through everyone's like he's gonna lose this one he's gonna lose this one he's gonna lose this one he shuts them up he wins you know and then uh, I remember being, you know, him inviting me to Madison Square Garden, him inviting me to, you know, participate in his weight cut, in his camp, and, uh, you know, getting to experience that week with him, and, uh, you know, sitting in Madison Square Garden when he's down four rounds and everyone's around me talking about, Brazil's a dump, you suck, you should have never been here, just like, you know, people being ugly, and uh, seeing there and then watching him come back in the fifth round and, and knock Karasani out, that, that, those, that was one of the most special moments of my life just because I I can identify wholeheartedly with the story you know of, of substance abuse of, uh, of depression of being in a dark place and you know not feeling like you have a way out and then finding something like mixed martial arts and and, and realizing like hey you know there is more to life than, than than alcohol and drugs and you know to see to see him get to where he got um, and also to be alongside him when he lost in, uh, in the rematch with Adesanya. And, uh, you know, that was a devastating moment, but just the way he handled it and, and the way he bounced back and uh, accepted that he, that he lost and he just picked himself up and, and he continued to move forward. The next week he was here in the gym and he was showing everyone else support. And he had just been, you know, brutally knocked out in Miami and he just lost his belt and he's here the next week. And, um, you know, you know, I uh, I wrote him a letter after that after that fight to let him know. You know, hey man, at the end of the day, it, it is all said and done. You're still a champion. You'll be a champion forever. And more importantly than just being a champion, you know, you've changed so many people's lives, so many people's lives, including my own. You know, like whether he he never sees UFC gold again, whether he retires tomorrow, whether he never fights again. Like at the end of the day, he's completely and utterly changed my life and and shown me that you know you can start from this you can go through the grips of hell and and, and dig yourself out and show that you know there is more to life um, and I know I'm not the only guy that has a story out there and I know you know if you're at home watching this you know you're dealing with substance abuse or with alcoholism uh, or just depression or anxiety whatever it is you know there is a way out there is guys like Alex Pereira out here who, who, who show you every single day that if you show up you do the work and you stay on Honest to the grind, you can dig yourself out of anything, you know, and for that I'm forever thankful. Yeah, that's a shame.